Hey, Professor. What's going on in the lab today? Ah, Crispin. I, I didn't see you come in. They let us off school early because our history teacher hit a guy with his truck. Oh, dear God. Yeah, he hasn't been well for a while. Well, Crispin, your history teacher's vehicular negligence and likely to surface history of substance abuse couldn't have come at a better time. I've just completed the finishing touches on my latest invention. Huh. How about that? You know, it, it never seems like you're coming over when you're, like, just starting an invention. Yes, well, it's... A... Or when you're six months into an invention that is nowhere near completion, but you're still really happy with the rate of progress you've made so far. Shut it, Crispin. Behold, my time travel omatic. Turns out you may get a history lesson today after all. So we're doing a Sherman and Mr. Peabody thing? Yes, but with one small difference. Mr. Peabody was a dog and I am a porcupine. That fact doesn't come across very well in a podcast, but we have to establish it right away for merchandising purposes. Can I just pull the lever? Go ahead. Where are we, Professor? Ah, but the real question is, when are we? Eh? <laughs> eh? Eh? Though also very important would be, where are we? Since traditionally, time machines change your geographic location as well as your position on the space-time continuum. Yes. But... At least in every depiction of them I've ever seen, that's been the case, well... and it seems like this is a pretty stock time travel premise. Yeah, uh, Crispin, uh, what has your history teacher taught you about the English crown? Nothing. He mostly would just talk about his ex-wife. Well, your boozing divorcee of a teacher has something in common with our first subject, King Henry VIII. Hang on, Professor. That guy's about to read something. In this, the year of our Lord, 1536, our Royal Highness King Henry VIII sentences Anne Boleyn to die via beheading. Does Miss Boleyn have any last words? I love my God and my country. I'll miss my parents and our dog, Brickham. And I just want to say that chickens have no business being kept in a tight, confined space they need fresh air, damn it! They need proper ventilation! Off with her head! Holy crap! We'll be going now. Hey, honey, what's your name? Jane Seymour, huh? Well, you can doctor my Quinn anytime. Come here for a second, tell Henry a story. It's time traveling time, bitches! <laughs> Whew. We got out of there just in time. Uh, anyway, what did you think of my time traveling catchphrase, Crispin? Her head! It just kept rolling! In the fountain of blood! Yeah, I'm thinking it could be abbreviated to uh, TTTB on t-shirts. I'd be saying it and throwing up to quills. What? Right, you're a porcupine. I, I don't know, Professor. It seems pretty shameless and calculating. Look, what did Anne Boleyn say before she got beheaded? Something about chickens? Well, of course she did. Which brings me to our lesson for today. You see, my lad, there is a seemingly permanent controversy over the basic purpose of the chicken coop. All throughout history, the very purpose of this basic chicken-containing structure has been hotly debated. That's never come up in our history class. Lots of grumbling about lawyers, but nothing about chicken coops. Well, my boy, today we learned the universal thread that links all of mankind's history together. The chicken coop controversy. Or CCC, as I like to call it. I'm not going to call it that. Uh, you down with CCC? I, what? I don't even... Yeah, you know me is what... The... Is, that's what you're supposed to say. When uh, I'm I... in fifth grade. Yeah, yeah okay, right. Yes. I was born in 2001. Okay, that's... That song you're referencing came out literally a decade before I was even born. Point's been made, Crispin. Hip-hop has a notoriously short shelf life as it is. For you to expect me to be familiar... Look over there! Isn't that Abraham Lincoln? Well, I'll be damned. That's right, Crispin. We're at the Civil War! I assume that even the shell of a man who taught you history told you what the Civil War was all about. Of course. Slavery. Oh? Oh, was it really? You there. What are you fighting for? Water. Please, please, I don't... Tell my mother... <laughs> okay, bad example. Uh, you there. Writing. Yes? Are you writing one of those Ken Burns-style letters? I am. Mind if we listen in while you poignantly narrate? Of course not. <laughs> my dearest Sarah... I have no misgivings about 
or lack of confidence in the cause in which I am engaged, and my courage does not halt or falter. I know how strongly American civilization now leans on the triumph of the enclosed chicken coop, and how great a debt we owe to those who fenced in the chickens before us. Sarah, forgive my many faults and the many pains I have caused you. How thoughtless and foolish I have oftentimes been. The times when drink overtook me and I loudly asserted that an open-air chicken coop might prove superior. Oh, Sarah, I shall always be near you in the gladdest days and in the darkest nights on our porch, observing our glorious enclosed chicken coop, which I fought for the right to protect as it sits far enough off our property for the stench not to overwhelm us while we are inside. Uh, oh, beautiful. Oh, what's, what's your name, brave soldier? Sullivan Ballou. Sullivan? You just missed the Gettysburg Address. The letter probably could have waited. TTTB? TTTB! Now where are we, Professor? Just outside the city walls of Jerusalem, Crispin, a little area known as Golgotha. Oh boy. Yes, this is where one of the most important and influential events in all of history took place, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And this relates to chicken coops? Of course it does. How, pray tell? How does Jesus' crucifixion relate to the seemingly permanent controversy about the basic purpose of the chicken coop? Well, what did Jesus do? He was a carpenter. Yes, and what do you think a carpenter was making back then? Fancy end tables, china hutches, precious moments figurine shelves. Dear God, chicken coops. That's right, Sonny. It goes all the way back up to the top. Let's get out of here. Good idea. The opening act, uh, Aaron the Prop Comedy Prophet, is about to come on. Crucifixions used to have opening acts? Of course. You have to get the audience warmed up. And believe me, after 15 minutes of Aaron going on about how people in Sodom be building chicken coops one way and people in Gomorrah be building them differently, the crowd sure wanted to crucify something. I never read about him in history books. There's a good reason. He sucked! Makes sense. TTBD, bitches! Here we are, Crispin, in the halls of the U.S. Congress. So you're not going to even acknowledge that you screwed up your own catchphrase? I meant TTTB. Everyone knows what I meant. Jeez, a guy can misspeak his catchphrase every now and then. What's going on in here today? Fellow congressmen, we are gathered here today in Washington, D.C. to witness this signing of the Hawley Smoot Tariff. Well, there you go. The famous signing of the Hawley Smoot Tariff. And do you know why we're here? Because the guy who wrote this sketch read Dave Barry slept here when he was in sixth grade and has cribbed liberally from it ever since? There are TTTB! Hello, this is Saka Oof. Horse to meek in den Rücken? Now where are we? Uh, really? You don't know where we are? No. Maybe you could lay out some sort of agenda or something. Well, see those guys goose-stepping. I mean, God forbid you take my suggestions about places I might want to see on this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. There's swastika flags hanging over there. Because I'd like to see a dinosaur, and frankly, I'm going to consider this trip a failure if we don't. We are in Nazi Germany, Crispin! That guy speaking is Hitler! Ah, right. The guy my opponent compared me to when I ran for student council alternate. Wow. Tough school. Eh, she wanted it more. I wonder what he's saying. Ich habe in eiger Satze in ein Chicken Coop und das ist, was es mir geben hat. Ich glaube nicht Chicken Coop, das ist gut zu weisen, sehr genau. Aber Chicken Coop, ich dachte, es war ein Werkwerk, das Chicken Coop. Ah, shamelessly rallying support for his theory of the master race of Chicken Coop design. Shouldn't we shoot him? I mean, as time travelers, aren't we sort of obligated? No, I don't know, Crispin. Uh, Hitler had some good ideas. Uh, about chicken coops, about chicken coops. Where is Taser Ungo und das Porcupine? I think he's talking about us. You suck, Hitler! TTTB! <laughs> Whoa, we're back in Congress. Did you hit a wrong button, Professor, or good God! Meine Hosen sind so eng. Wer ist der Oberstand? Why is Hitler here? Ich habe ne gerne so Jonglerin und est ein toughes Bedaum von mir. Odd. It appears that the time travel still has a few kinks to work out. 
when I shouted Hitler's name as we initiated the TTTB sequence, which is now the official name of that whole thing, it must have caused him to travel through time with us. Well, he appears to be more confused than dangerous. Why are we back in Congress? Well, Crispin, I wanted to show you one of the more infamous moments in the CCC. In 1965, a congressman delivered an impassioned 18-hour filibuster about enclosed chicken coops. Wenn jemand spricht Deutsch, wird sie wissen, dass ich sage Unsinn. <laughs> he recognized you when you said chicken coops. Who gave the speech? Congressman Abraham Farbstein. Niemand sagt mir, dass Hunde nicht eisen Erdnüsse werden, sind die Bücher setur. Maybe we should get him out of here. Good idea. You hungry? Definitely. TTTB. <laughs> Ah, the mall food court in 1998. What better place to eat amongst the dregs of humanity? Then ich zoom sein ad ging, war die Lini sehr lange. I think Hitler's hungry too. Should we go to Chick-fil-A? Maybe they can share some insight about the chicken coop controversy. See, you're not abbreviating it out of spite. It's more work to say it your way. Oh, Hitler! Get back here! He's wandering off. Oh, I'll keep an eye on him. You know, this far out of his element, you can kind of see his human side. I wonder if deep down there was some part of him that was misunderstood. He's going into Sparrows. Dear God! He really is a monster! I'm not setting one foot in there. I'm with you. It's like the Jersey Turnpike rest stop of fast food chains. Come here, Hitler. Mein Pferd! TTTB! Whoa! Ich habe ein Stock! Fascinating. Traveling into the future with the time travel o -matic was purely theoretical. How far into the future are we? Hmm, it appears it's the year 2756. Professor, is that a statue of a giant chicken? Amazing! It appears that man of the future worships the chicken. Ich mochte einen Film über einen Schlepper, der Ski gegzug sehen. Professor, look over there! I don't think that man built those statues to worship the chicken. I don't think man built the statues at all. Gadzooks! The chickens have taken over an enslaved man! Was macht ein Mann so ton haben un eiger schlag sei gunterigt? Look over there! They're herding people into... into a chicken coop! Hmm, it appears the controversy was more permanent than we ever could have imagined. The coopers are now the coopies. <laughs> es klang wie er sagte poopy. <laughs> oh, please, Hitler, show some maturity. Professor, there's a chicken approaching that podium. He's going to deliver a speech. Man, he's really getting those chickens worked up. He seems to hate the humans. Dear God, those statues are of that chicken. He's their dictator and he's leading the enslavement of mankind. It's... it's Chicken Hitler! It's... Chickler! Uh, wie kommt Neiman kaum zu meinem Guberstag, huh? Das Chickler! Hmm. <laughs> Would you look at that? Hitler's in love with Chickler! Should we go after him? Ah, uh, let him follow his heart, Crispin. Oh, about Chickler, I mean. Only let him follow his heart about Chickler. Fine, but I'm calling an executive TTTB. Well, that got silly quickly. Well, here we are back in the present era. Do you think we messed anything up in the space-time continuum by kidnapping Hitler during his rise to power and having him fall in love with an evil chicken in the 20th century? Who cares? I want a beer. Go home, Crispin. <laughs> Guess you could say you want me to fly the coop? I'll let myself out. Not a bad day's work for a porcupine. <laughs>